Hello YouTube and welcome back to Carew's Reviews. I'm Carew and here's my review. What you see before you are the Acoustic Authority I have to look at the model number A3640 speaker system. It's another one of my 2.1 speaker systems of which I own quite a few and I bought this one recently. It's my most recent system. I bought it used uh, and it only cost me 50 bucks even though it has uh, what they claim is a 10 inch woofer down here. Hang on, I'll just get the metal cover for you to see what it normally looks like because as usual I take all, I always take the metal covers off because I like to see and feel what I'm working with. So typically it will look like that. You'll see it with a metal cover on it. Uh, but of course I pried it off as I always do with all my speakers to get a look and feel of the driver itself. And of course it's not a 10 inch driver. They almost never are. When they say they're 10 inches they're 9. When they say they're 6 and a half inches they're 5 and a half inches. They always add an inch. I guess they're like men. I must be men designing these because they give themselves an extra inch. <clears throat> anyway, I don't know how much this system retailed for originally, but uh, it's made by Cyber Acoustics, which is a well-known speaker manufacturer. Makes low-end stuff, not inexpensive, but but uh, well-regarded 2.1 systems and computer speakers and that. And uh, being the bass head I am, of course, I saw this for sale and I thought, oh, that's great, another big fat sub for my uh, all my computer speakers would be great. And it does have that. And it's got a perfectly nice foam surround there. You know, cone, ten, nine, well, 9 inch cone. I was going to say 10 inch cone, but that's what it's advertised as. But it's a 9 inch driver. And the uh, satellites, I expect, I, you, there's no way to pry off those covers, unfortunately. Because I'm sure they're hiding, I'm sure Acoustic Authority is hiding some dirty little secret. But I expect it's the same driver. As you can see here in my little acoustic, acoustic, what acoustic, what I'm saying, Alltech Lansing system. Because you see the driver would fit in perfectly there. So I expect it's probably a pretty similar driver. Probably a uh, two and a half inch, three inch mid-range slash tweeter. And I, I'm almost sure that it's a one-way speaker. Because these satellites don't weigh more than maybe a pound, pound and a half each. So, uh... It's very unlikely it's a two-way system. Probably a three-inch driver in there. Anyway, the uh, looks of the system, I think, are actually pretty good. It's got, here's the controller. You can control the power, on, off, volume, and bass. And the thing I like about it is that this illuminates, and it's light blue, and it actually looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, mine is old and used, so it only, the light goes on only intermittently. But it looks pretty cool when it does. It's a nice light blue. And, uh, and it, the, the design is also similar here on this. It's the sort of, uh, it looks like carbon fiber sort of looking thing, which uh, I think is pretty cool. And there's the Acoustic Authority logo right there and on the satellites. One of the reasons I bought it, though, was not just for the big sub, but it also... Also, I thought, hey, this is gonna, really going to be a solid unit because it has the uh, the big cooling fins in the back. And I thought, that's a really solid unit because they advertise it as 180 watts. And I thought, the big cooling fin, you only see those on the, on the uh, heavier, more expensive units that really put out the power. Well, there's the cooling fin for you. It's just a piece of plastic. It's strictly for looks, eh? unfortunately. It d sure duped me, though. When I saw it advertised, I thought, wow, that's uh, a solid piece of equipment. But unfortunately, it just screws, you can just screw that piece of plastic on and off, so it's just for looks. <clears throat> Another thing, one of the things I like about this system, and there isn't much I like about it, but one of the things I do like are the length of the speaker cables because they just go on and on and on. They're about 12 feet. Hey, uh, Logitech, take note. 12 foot speaker cables. 
you know, the Logitech speaker, my Logitech systems, the speaker cables are about six feet, which is not long enough. Eight or nine feet, I think, would be perfect. They don't need to be this long. I mean, this is excessively long, but Logitech aren't long enough, so... You know, there's a small percentage of people like me who really like to spread your spread their system out over a room, and the six foot cables on other some of the other systems aren't long enough. So these ones better too long and too short. And these things have really good cable length. As is the controller length from the sub is also it's also 12 feet, which is eh, a little excessive, but whatever. Better too long and too short, like I said. So, oh yeah, speaking of the sub, one of the weird things about it is that it's not uh, magnetically shielded. So they actually have a little sticker on the back saying, don't put this near some of your other electronic stuff because it could interfere. Well, that's kind of weird though, because I mean, they're computer speakers. You expect them to be near your computer, but <sighs> stupid. Anyway, they sort of cheaped out there. I don't know why they couldn't acoustically shield them when every other speaker system I've ever seen does. For some reason, these don't. So, um, about the only other thing I can say cosmetically is that it's got this like three pound, three or four pound adapter for some reason that has to plug in. I don't know why, since none of my other computer speakers need this. I don't know why my acoustic authorities need this, but it's big and heavy and it's cumbersome. It's a pain in the butt. So it's kind of weird, but <clears throat> as far as the sound goes, uh, disappointing. Not good. Uh, I, p I picked these up used, like I said, for 50 bucks. I didn't expect, you know, I didn't expect high-end audio or anything. Uh, but 180 watts RMS I thought was decent, you know, and a great big fat sub, and what I thought were big heavy metal cooling fins, which aren't, of course, now. Um, but it doesn't put out anything like that, because I'm confused. This model, this is the uh, A30, I think this is the A36, yeah, this is the A3640. I confused this with the A3780. Uh, Acoustic Authority only ever made two sets of speakers. This was one, and the A3780 was the other one. Well, the A3780 is much better than this one. I had no idea. Um, you can tell this one is cyber acoustics, though, uh, because of these little feet. It's got little feet on all corners, these little rubbery sort of shoes that it's got, which is very similar to another system that cyber acoustics made that features a six and a half inch woofer. So. When I saw that, I thought, yeah, that's an interesting look. That That's how you can kind of tell it's cyber acoustics. And Acoustic Authority were sort of spun off of that, or they were, I guess they were sort of the high-end version of a cyber acoustics. Um, but like I said, the sound is disappointing. The only the only really good thing is, is the uh, satellites, ironically. The sub is a disaster. It doesn't sound good at all, and this thing doesn't produce a lot of power. I found out... Uh, what happened after I bought it? I confused the 3640 with the A3640 with the, with the A3780, and this amp only puts out 38 watts, which is of course much less than I was thinking the 180 of the other one, and the other one has two-way uh, satellites, um, and this is just like I think a probably two and a half inch cheap cone driver in there, like uh, like I showed you the. I expect it's pretty similar to the Altec Lansing. It can do some highs. The highs aren't that bad. It can do highs. The problem, uh, and it's so ironic, is that sub. I mean, the thing just has almost no power. And if you give it any power or any bass at all, it just goes boom, thump, 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 and it just sounds awful. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's ruined because I've I've heard lots of woofers and speakers that are that are wrecked. I don't think it's wrecked, I just think it's a cheap piece of crap. So, uh, I paid 50 bucks, and I probably should have paid about 20 for this. 15 or 20 because that's all it's worth. I actually emailed the people back <clears throat> after I bought it, and I told them, I just explained exactly how and why I was disappointed, but I don't even know if they got the email. So, But, um, anyway, there's the Acoustic Authority, a... 3640 for review and um, 
Yeah, an old system, probably 12, 15 years old now, probably about that. Uh, so I have no idea what the warranty was or how much it cost originally. All I know is what I paid for it, which was way too much, so I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, enjoy.